Hey guys, so this is Bakura Girl 1. This is my very first tutorial with Expel Tutorials and this is going to be an After Effects Tutorials. So this effect is what I call the camera effect. It's been it's something that I've been looking for a long time and I finally kind of figured out how to do it. So this is what it looks like at the base. So this effect is something that I've seen a lot in After Effects videos and uh, I wanted to share it with you guys because it's a really awesome effect and you can do so much with it. It's it's really an, a creative uh, effect. So let's get started. So here is my After Effects. Here you have your composition. So first you want to, if you want to, you can put a background. I usually put backgrounds, it's prettier. But this, I'm only going to put a solid uh, orange, a little bit too flashy. I'm going to put a simple purple one. So here you have your background. After, what's in... Okay, so here, I use, as you see, I have several things here. Pictures, fan arts, that I modified in, in uh, Photoshop. So what I do is I already drag them here. So what you want to do is you have to create a new composition. Like this. You can leave it to the comp that's here. You can rename it. Whatever you want. Also, it's going to be appear here. You can create folders because this kind of project has a lot of elements. It can get a little bit messy, and I'm kind of OCD, so I like things to be organized. So here I have all my screens I'm going to use. This is all the pop art I'm going to use. So in here, what's important is I have to put it transparent. Toggle transparent right over here. This icon is very important because or else it's going to give you something that you don't want. So here I'm going to drag Seychelles right over here. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, here, so here you can do whatever you want. You let your mind, uh, your imagination do whatever you want. Here is where you can do create your keyframes and everything. So let's say I want Seychelles to move. Uh, you go to position, just drag your thing, and you do what the hell you want. <laughs> After you're done making your creation, you go back to your main comp, and here you, you take the comp you just created, and you drag it to the first comp, which is your main composition, and she's going to appear right over here. And as you can see, the animation is still there. And I'm going to do a second one, just to, so you can better understand the thing, and create a new comp. Don't remember the transparent. So here I'm going to drag Lichtenstein. Uh, here I want her to get bigger. So I'm going to create the effect. The scale over here. Blah. Okay, once you're done creating all the things you want in your in your effect, uh, here I drag Lichtenstein again to the first comp, and here she is. So when you place Wittgenstein, you want to place it somewhere preferably outside of the grid because when you're going to use your camera, she's going to move. It's no use because if you try to squeeze in, the effect's going to be boring. So you want to put her here because you know when you're using the camera, you're going to drag it back. All right, so here you want to create a layer, new camera. Okay. So here what's important, here another tip is the background. So here my background, it's only this big. So when I'm going to move the camera, it's going to do this. And I don't want this. So if you want the background to move with your effect, you have to make it bigger, like this. Like way bigger. And you can see the border, so when you move it, you can still see the background. And like that. But me, I don't want to, so I just leave it like this. So once you're done, you have the camera, you have to put the square, the little square box right over here. Everything that you want the camera to move, you put the square box. And since I don't want the background, there's no square box. So here you go here. You going to transform, you put the keyframes. I, put, I usually put all of them just in case, you never know. And to control, you go here. And you can you have the three choices. You have the orbit camera where you can do circles, you manipulate the rotation of 
the pictures. You have the track X Y camera, which is the position. You like you can as you can see, I'm dry, I'm leaving Seychelles, and with Tensha, she's right over here. And finally, I have the track Z, which is the zoom. So here I'm going to zoom on Seychelles. Oh, and usually there's a lot of adjustments depending on what you want. So I want to go see Lichtenstein, but I want it to be like an effect. So it's keyframes. So you just drag your little bar right over here. And after you, depending on what you do, I, you go to track Z, X, Y camera tool. And you just drag it back to Lichtenstein. And you can do whatever you want. You can play with the orbit again. You can play with the zoom back like this. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's just really, really basic. I'm still new to this. There's so much you can do with this effect. Uh, you can go see other videos. You can see what they do and try to figure out what they do. I'm, I'm still a new with After Effects. I'm learning as I go. So uh, I hope you like this tutorial and uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't be shy and ask. I'll try to answer the best I can. So uh, yeah, bye.